Okay, homelessness, I know, AGG tires, geez, look at that. Can't understand no more bullshit. What's your name? Gil Hastings. Gil, okay, Gil. And uh, you did something last week at the Phoenix Center. That's right. What, what was that? Uh, me, me and uh, my friend Angela Hopkins, we uh, were talking one day just about how what could make life easier for for me and my fellow peers um i'm not homeless at the moment but up until a couple months ago i was and we're looking around and we see more shopping carts and more people lugging things and we just decided you know what lockers if we could get somewhere to store some stuff if we could just put our bags down for a while how does that work how does that work yeah how many lockers do you have uh, we, we uh, raised uh, um, almost just under 10,000. We bought 45 lockers and locks. Um, Angela called Scott at, the, right. at the Phoenix Center and uh, he agreed to, to, you know, use some of his space to put these lockers in. And uh, we made it happen. It was uh, a really good feeling to, to finally uh, help out the community rather than just always having my hand out. It's always right? first thing we talk with our hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking like that. Oh, look, look that way. Okay. No. Okay. Like last night, I yeah. me and the dog were walking, and uh, the OG, and it was a beautiful night last night. The snow was falling, right? Beautiful. Was beautiful. Then I hear some noise, some racket. Yeah. National Bank, and there was Marshall. You know Marshall. Okay, yeah. Nice guy. Nice yeah. guy. I like Marshall. I like Marshall too. Yeah. And Marshall was freaking out with security because they wouldn't allow his shopping cart inside yeah. where the teller was so he could sleep. They say, put the shopping cart somewhere else, hide it, then, but you, you, you can sleep here, yeah. but the shopping cart can't stay. Can't stay. So how come Marshall don't... Uh, Utilize this locker. <laughs> I, don't know if they've, I don't know if they've done the official assigning of keys yet or not. I know um, the last set of lockers just showed up the day before yesterday or Friday. Okay. Um, so I'm not 100% when that's going to happen. It may have already happened, but I don't think it has. But hopefully once they are assigned, Marshall will have a space to keep some things. So in. last week in the alleyway, there was two cops. Yeah. He was. He had a warrant out for his arrest. Okay. Me and DOG arrived. Had the camera. There's Marshall freaking out. Yeah. And there was a warrant out for his arrest. Okay. But the police grabbed him. Or maybe if I would have never showed up with the camera. But they allow me and him to carry his shopping cart at the police station. Okay. But it was warm, and I'm sure the clothes. The first time the clothes that wasn't doesn't the normally warm place happen in months. They did. They took care of it. Okay. But. If I would have never arrived there, you're under arrest, the shopping cart stays, stays there. there. You they, arrive back, it's gone. Yeah, they call the city to come get it, I'm sure. Yeah. I've lost uh, numerous, and not even being arrested, just um, being uh, brought in for questioning or anything like that. Um, I lost almost $400 worth of donated dog food one time, all my winter clothing, all was in the cart things like that um, I, I do believe uh, the city is changing a bit with with um, law enforcement relations with the homeless but it's still we're as as long, know, far we, away to go but we, we got an idiot as a mayor I mean uh, I don't know the man myself, don't, don't you don't uh, want to know the man <laughs> yeah. never mind never mind sorry good, good. focus sir yeah. uh, but the thing is when it comes to the issue of the homeless like me I rode a 10-speed bicycle across Canada Nice. And from Halifax to San Francisco, California. Wow. I rode across the states, across Canada. That I just thought about this. That was my home. Yeah. What was on my bike? Exactly. Just like here. So when I went into a place, I made sure I kept an eye on that bike. Yeah, of course. Because that's my home. That's my, you know, everything. Yeah. Same as here. You know, I mean, there's a lot of shopping carts here. If, if you don't carry it with you, and I'm talking everything in your life, imagine like your photo albums or your, you know, keepsakes. If you don't carry it with you, you don't have it. It's gone, right? So. And Kent City is not a solution. No, no, it's not. It's not. It's a solution. It's a, it may even aggravate the problem, if anything. Yeah. But i seen that clinic spend policing. The, Which clinic? The, um, the, the downtown community health center. Okay. Um, what I've seen them, them spend on just staffing security to police it, that money could have, you know, you know, really put probably 
two, three couples in an apartment for, you know, six, seven months. We're spending money to make, you know, the police these problems and to, to keep an eye on them when you could just use that money to build affordable housing or to, to you know... Yeah, but what do you do with people with Crystal Met besides dragging them behind the barn and shoot them? Well, yeah, I better watch what I wish because I'll be the first one to be dragged behind the barn and used, shot. Uh, I, but really, a, how do you do it? As a crystal meth user myself for a lot of years, well, yeah. I, big time, big time. Yeah, really. and, and you could have a normal conversation? Well, yeah. Uh, while on crystal meth? No, yeah, I mean, you can have right now. You, you were on crystal meth? For, for a lot of years. Oh, yeah. God, you're, you're a, a success years. student. <laughs> yeah. I could talk That's to you. That's right. Okay. You're not spaced out. You're not. Uh... Well, it takes it takes a bit of time to come, you know, for your for your brain functions to come back and. Uh, okay, so uh, tell me, how do you do it? How do you? How do these kids all are high on crystal meth, dancing the street, YMCA, village people? How how do you handle it? It 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 it, it the thing with crystal meth, it, it releases you know adrenaline, endorphins, um, serotonin, dopamine. It releases all these chemicals, so. Logically, the user can say, okay, when I do this, I turn into a schizophrenic weirdo, right? You, you logically know that, but your brain and subconscious is telling you do it. It's rewarding because you get the dopamine and the, the adrenaline and the serotonin. So, so it's very hard for the user to stop using because the brain is, is wired to say this is rewarding, do it. Even though logically you Must know. Must be an ADHD brain. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's, a, it's a hard drug. It's, 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 once you're once you're addicted to it, uh, it's very hard. They're to, done for life. For life. Not always. Not always. Like. Um, Name me one success story of a guy or a woman that went off crystal meth and is working and has. Uh, seven seven years. I. Uh, and myself, seven years. We're not years talking like about it. you. We're talking about somebody else. Somebody else. You have ADHD. We gotta, gotta talk about you, you, you. Let's talk about. Uh, it's very. I can only speak about myself. But <laughs> <laughs> it's very. Uh, it's very hard to, you know, pin that down. But uh, the the recovery rate of crystal meth users is is very low, extremely low. It's sad. Very sad. It's yeah. sad. It's sad. But uh, we got to look at the problems that caused this epidemic in the first place. You want me what? to tell you what the problem is? I'd love you to. I'm going to tell you what the problem is. No facts. No facts. None this is the problem. Wham out! Oh, I'm going to fall 911. No discipline. No different attitude. True. True in a lot. And they can do whatever they want. Yeah. And you, they are perfect. You can't touch them. We grew up. You know what a fist fight was. Yes, they did. Now, that's the soul. Yes, it is. Yep. I mean, these people are not disciplined. So what they do, hey man, I'm going to try crystal meth. Am I wrong or am I right? Discipline is definitely part of the problem for sure. Um, but a lot of it uh, too is is, is uh, poverty and, and, and no work, no no meaning or quality of life, right? So you take, you know, all like a perfect storm. You take um, no Welfare discipline. Parent. You Welfare take parent. exactly generation after generation. Yeah, I agree. These problems. And then you throw this fucking uh, terrible drug on top of it. It, it yeah, fuels okay. a perfect storm. I would agree. Um, we gotta we gotta start with edgy. Hey hey hey! Judy, Judy, come, Judy, Judy, stay.